so hello hello everyone welcome and welcome back to the channel we are here for february's messages i'm going to be using my vice versa tarot and my shadowscape tarot to get some insights for you and the energies for this month um please keep in mind if it doesn't resonate for whatever reason you can watch your other placements sun moon rising venus jupiter north node whatever it is that um may resonate more with you depending on where your alignment is also i always recommend watching each of the 12 signs and seeing how the energies may pertain to the house in which that sign rules for you in your birth chart okay it'll give you some additional interesting insight to view them that way also there is going to be a separate video called Ophiuchus <laughs> for guidance. Okay, so each of the signs can have guidance moving forward. That will be in a separate video. So I hope you check it out after you're through with this one. All right, so without further ado, thank you for joining. Drop a like, leave comments, let me know if they resonate, and we are going to get right into your message. Hey, hey, Capricorn, here we go. <laughs> Spirit, please give us some insight for Capricorn, Capricorn energy for February. What is going on with Capricorn and Capricorn's energies for February? is going on Capricorn Capricorn energies we've got the two of cups what else <laughs> that's always a pretty card to start with what is going on with cap for February We've got the King of Swords, back face, the Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. We've got the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck, and the Six of Swords on top of the deck. So, Cap. I feel like with this energy here, especially because the devil was underneath of that with the fool and the hanged man. Jesus, that's a lot of major arcana underneath that queen of swords. Listen. Cat. Honestly, I feel like if you don't watch you don't watch and be real clear on who you're moving away from you might actually be moving into the shadows energy and end up finding yourself stagnant okay with the bottom of that deck being under this queen of swords because i feel like you've iced your feelings over the way i'm reading this i feel like you've iced your feelings over and you might not be listening to your intuition and you're moving forward. But no one's actually happy moving forward. Like, neither of them actually look excited. <laughs> With the Two of Cups, the King of Swords, the Ace of Cups and the ten of wands both of these all three of these cards in the back face mm, i think especially because there's this sickle behind the the king of swords you're looking at the storm i think you may have cut off a soulmate that has been trying to reach out to you trying to express love to you i think the love is genuine 
and you're carrying some kind of soul weight like it's like almost like the expectations or beliefs of other people you cut off a soulmate And now what you're moving into is the storm. I don't think you should have cut this soulmate off. Even if, even if the soulmate technically, technically cut you off, your behavior or your actions pushed them to cut you off. So they didn't actually cut you off. You did. You know what I mean? Like you pushed them to the point where they cut you off. So you cut someone off you know, one way or another whether you outright cut them off or pushed you to cut, to have pushed them so that they cut you off. Either way, you cut them off. Outright or your actions warranted it. And wherever you're going in February is fucking heavy. I don't feel like this soulmate... I don't actually feel like this, sir, this soulmate is indefinitely hurt by you. I don't feel that at all. I think they... When I say they are not hurt by you, they didn't take damage, right? Soul speaking. They didn't take damage by your actions or or what you chose to be or not be right however you want to look at it matter of fact i think they still hold i think they still hold love for you i think they're kind of hoping you would turn around because the queen and the king of swords are both here but they're both back faced It might be logic or reason or circumstance that either community and or family being the reason why this is not something that you've continued to invest in. You might have the weight of family on your shoulders. The beliefs of family. The perspectives of family. Or community, right? Like a group, just take it how it resonates. But I'm feeling like you cut someone off because it being close to them goes against the group. But the group is literally leading you into the storm. The group is putting a serious burden on you. Especially if you're convinced that you can't reconcile with this soulmate. Or that this soulmate is supposed to be cut out. Give me some clarities on these cards please spirit. The two, of, the two of Cups, the King of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. All right, those are definitely going back in. But we're going to keep the Strength card. Whoever the Soulmate is, I feel like they are definitely holding Strength. Definitely holding Strength. Leo Energy might be a factor. Yeah, the Queen of Swords is coming out to clarify the King of Swords. 
and this like you actually do want to talk to this person you don't actually want to i don't think you actually want to face the storm i think you know it's a storm You and them might have really strong connected air placements. The hanged man in reverse. You're ignoring your intuition. You're making head over heart decisions. That's the problem. Your emotions, you feel like you want to talk to this person. You might miss this person. You might long for this person. And yet logic, like the community, the group, the family, whatever it is, is keeping you from it. Because maybe you don't want to fight with your family or the group or the whatever. You know what I mean? You don't want to fight with them. You don't want to go against the whole group. But that's going against your intuition. It's going against your soul with the Ace of Cups and the Hanged Man Reverse. Hanged Man is Piscean energy. Piscean energy is a sign of the soul and dreams. It's going against your soul. It's going against your greatest, your greatest vision or fantasy. It's keeping it from becoming a reality. Give me one more. Clarify the Ten of Wands. And the Hierophant in the reverse. <clears throat> you can't commit to the burden that this group or whatever is putting on you. Hierophant in reverse, it's, it's something you can't actually commit to. You're not going to learn anything. You're not actually going to learn the lessons, the soul lessons you were sent here to learn. You're not going to receive the blessings for learning those lessons. You continue on with in the vibration of the burdens with this group. Like you can't live their wounds. You can't live their wounds. Bottom of the deck is the three of cups. Top of the deck is the empress. This is some whoever, whatever this empress energy is, you have to get in it. You have to get in it. Because the Empress receives. Whoever it was that you were dealing with, you were receiving from them. They were generous with their with their money or generous with their consideration or generous with their availability for you, right? Being emotionally available. Like this person considered you in high regard. In high regard. This soulmate considered you in high regard. Yeah, you're going to have to reinvent yourself. You're stuck with third party, quote unquote, third party energy. This group who might most definitely have a ringleader. Gotta love the fucking ringleader because everybody else just follows the ringleader. God forbid they upset the ringleader. And so you have this group mentality. This pack mentality. It's pack mentality. That's what it is. You're either in the pack or you're not. It's like odd ultimatum type shit. Like you're either in the pack or you're not. You're either on our side or you're not. You're either a part of this family or you're not. You're either in this group and in alignment with this group or you're not. And if you're not, you're shunned. Like that's fucked up. You're not allowed to be an individual. It's pack mentality. <sighs> yeah, cap. 
I think, uh, I think if your intuition, if you miss someone, if you genuinely miss someone, I think you need to go against the pack on this one. I think you need to go against the pack on this one, and I think you'll be really, really glad you did. I think you'll be really glad you did. Otherwise, what you're looking at is pretty fucking stormy. And not just in your outer experience, but your inner world. I think you're going to be dealing with a lot of fucking conflicts, trying to please the group to the detriment of yourself and your own pleasure. Like, you will absolutely sacrifice your own pleasure, your own joy of life, trying to please the pack. What's the fucking point? If they're all fucking happy that you're in the pack, but you're fucking miserable, what's the fucking point? What is the fucking point to life if you're miserable? So what if everybody else is happy? You're fucking miserable. It's your life. Go against the pack on this one. I'll catch you in a few could say. <laughs>